Today I'm going to show you the 100 watt power inverter from CDR King. Uh, it's very small, you can see it just fits in my hand like that. It plugs into your car cigarette lighter, so there's no need to connect it directly to the car battery. Uh, if you compare it in size with the 500 watt inverter, you can see there's quite a big difference. Um, the 500 watt inverter has a very noisy fan on it. The 100 watt inverter doesn't have any fan at all, um, which could be seen as a pro or a con. Uh, I specifically chose one without a fan because I want to use it um, uh, in an environment where I don't want to make much noise. Um, also the 500 watt one has a on off switch whereas the 100 watt one does not have any kind of switch on it um, but it does feature a USB port which the 500 watt inverter doesn't also the 500 watt inverter uses these clip-on um, battery connectors so it has to be connected directly to a battery I'm planning to use this for a solar panel um, so 100 watts is fine, I don't intend to put any heavy loads on it now um, I'll just connect the... I've got a small 7 amp hour 12 volt battery here and I'm just going to run it like that for now so connect that you see that the lights come on on the side one is for the AC power and the other one is for the USB connector so I've got a USB fan here so let's just plug that in oops so put the USB fan there plug that into the inverter A little bit awkward with one hand. Okay, that's plugged in. Switch that on, and that's working fine. So it's going from the 12 volt battery through to the inverter, and then just 5 volts out on USB. So let's turn that off. Now, one of the things I wanted to test with this is um, how much power it consumes when it's just sitting here like this, and there's no load plugged into it because. I'm thinking about leaving this connected to the uh, solar panel battery permanently and um, I don't want to have to go outside and switch it on off whenever I want to use it so I'm probably going to leave it turned on so uh, I've got my multimeter here um, got it set on to measure the amps so let's uh, wire this on we'll leave the positive there and we'll take the negative put that onto there and then put this here okay so you can see the inverter now has power and it's drawing 0.19 amp and then if we uh, stop that for a moment connect this directly again so you can see the inverter is turned on again we'll swap the multimeter to measure voltage let's put the negative uh, oops that's disconnected. Okay, so negative, positive, we're measuring 12.6 volts. So 12.6 volts, 1.9 amps, we're looking at roughly 2.5 watts. So uh, very low power. Um, I did actually measure the power of this 500 watt inverter and even when it has no load connected it consumes around 10 watts so um, that's actually quite a lot when when you're talking about solar power um, but this one just two and a half watts that's not too bad at all you could leave this running and it wouldn't you know it wouldn't consume that much energy um, where possible if you if you know you're not going to use it for a long time you should switch it off um, but it's not a major concern if you leave it turned on uh, so let's, um, I've got my laptop charger here for its uh, MacBook uh, Air, so let's plug that into the inverter. Be careful when you insert these pins, uh, obviously you don't want to touch it, it's AC power. I mean you don't want to touch the pins. Okay, that's in there nice and secure. Um, by the way I have opened this up and only the two bottom pins are connected the ground pin is, is just free floating, it's not doing anything so uh, let's plug the uh, MacBook in and hopefully, I haven't even tested this yet but yeah, there you go, it's got the um, the charging symbol there so uh, that's working fine and it's completely silent I'll put it up to the phone there's no fan, um, it's just air-cooled. There's a big transformer inside, a couple of MOSFETs which are mounted to the 
case. Um, am I hearing a noise there? No, there's no noise. So there you go, it's um, this... Oh, there is a noise. Every now and then it's like... Bzzz. Let me hold the phone close so you can hear it. Did you hear that? It's like a... Bzzz. I'm not sure what that noise is all about. Um, the only things inside, like I said, uh, I opened this up, is a big transformer. Oops, I've disconnected the wire there. Uh, it's a big transformer, and then a couple MOSFETs, which are, um, they're actually, uh, sc this screw is holding them onto the case to act as a heatsink. There's two in there, um, with a piece of metal across them to, uh, you know, to equalize the temperature of them. Uh, I'm not sure, not sure why it's going, um, what I'll do is I'll run this for a while, like maybe uh, an hour or so. I've got a bigger battery, and then uh, I'll post in the YouTube description um, whether or not it caused any issues. I, I doubt it. It's going to cause any issues. Um, so there you go. Very small, um, 100 watt inverter. It was about 500. 60 peso I think um, purposely chose it because it doesn't have a fan and I want a quiet one and uh, it's got a much smaller footprint than the the 500 watt inverter so there you go